Hello, my name is Richard Embry, and I have been tasked with designing and implementing a new mechanic uh, with this into this tile-based uh, game project for Full Sail University. Uh, the mechanic I want to introduce is called a pit jump. With this mechanic, uh, I want to test the player's ability to think and maneuver around an area in which it seems impossible where you are able to essentially jump over a pit in a room full of pits and navigate to the to the goal in order for me to do that and i will demonstrate here now is that i've allowed the player to cross a single pit however being faced with multiple pits you will not be able to you will be pushed back as if a trampoline spring is there and then this is just a normal pit that i put to uh, show how it works and that is essentially what the, what my mechanic is now, in order for me to make it, what I've done was I created a tile to mimic the pit tile. I actually used the base tile as the parent and I mimicked it. And then I, I put another tile on top of my pit tile. I can show you here in my viewport. I've actually made it invisible. So there is a tile here that I actually made invisible on top on top of the the base. In which the player is actually able to go on top of and slide. So so it looks like a pit, but it acts like the sliding tile that has been introduced earlier in this project. And this gave, like, what gave me this idea was the hurdles in the game, was it Tokyo Olympics 2020? How you're able to jump over something that you would normally run into as a wall and get stuck at or it would slow you down. So with that idea in mind, I came up with a pit jump because instead of having a hurdle, uh, having hurdles, we have pits in our tile game. <clears throat> in order for me to do that, I have essentially um, made it so that I was able to move across the, the, the invisible tile, similar to the way that the sliding tile works. That was also inspired, like that also inspired this mechanic. And then after I've made that happen, I check to see if the neighboring tile is actually a pit. And in doing so, it would push you back. So that way it wouldn't be uh, any super negative repercussions on the player. It would just be like, hey, you need to find another route. <clears throat> and then I added up here, <clears throat> uh, I took um, the wall macro from the pit tile itself, instead of introducing invisible walls that root that keep the player out from stepping on top of the tile. I placed it on the walls of the pit jump to if you were close to a actual tile, a uh, pit tile itself, that the walls would disappear. As you can see here, well, you can't really see it here, but in the game itself, if I can show it one more time, Give me one second. Sorry about that. It'll pop up. Yes, if you see it here, the pit jump actually has no walls. It's just an open space where the pit itself has blocked out walls. Whereas if the pit jump is not next to a pit, it will still have the walls there. 
So it will be a little bit difficult to distinguish if you have them scattered out throughout the level versus being right next to each other. But that is mainly how I would want players to be able to tell the difference. They actually have to look at the level and decide which path they want to take in order to complete the level. And that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is essentially my mechanic. Thank you for your time.